if I remember correctly, probably is the guy that's won loads of stuff. That's how the Master League works. And um, he gets to veto an allies commander first. Which one are you going to ban for both of you? Because we made it like a MOBA where they ban it. Um, we go with the KV-1 guard doctrine. Yep. Okay, go on. Ah, he knows the names of the command. This Well, that's an advantage. He knows the names of the commanders, look less. In my ear all day, you know. It's... Yeah. Uh, I'll do um, rifle company. Rifle company's gone, that's an interesting one. How about an Axis commander, neither of you can play? I'm so confused. Um, I go with Jaeger Infantry. Right. I go with Storm Doctor. <laughs> he sounded like a Bond villain. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> you guys remembered what those were, right? What you just said. Does anybody... Yeah, we remembered it. You remembered it. Good, yeah. Just call each other out if you don't. Um, we're on to the next bit now, which is Faction Selection. And the coin toss winner, who was Love Nest, means we now go to the coin toss loser. Who gets to choose their faction first in game one? Love Nest, you're going to get counterpicked. What's your faction? I'm going to go Soviets. Soviets. I have to decide right yeah, now. That's no, that sucks. What's the first map again? It's, was it famous? What was the first map? Was it famous? Amelie. Amelie. Oh. Okay, we're going to go traditional, world championship style. It's uh, going to be Amelie, Wehrmacht, Crossroads. Can we get a handshake? Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. Right, start your engines. Start tuning them. Get some practice versus AI or something for the next 10 to 15 minutes. You want to get warmed up and get comfortable. And we'll be right back with you guys because we're going to have a grand final. That feels way bigger than anything we've ever done before because this has been absolutely awesome. So good luck, gentlemen. And um, you're not going to have fun, but try to later on when we have a few drinks together. Cheers. And we're here. We're live. We're ready with the grand finalists. They're set Ooh. up and all the fans are eagerly anticipating what we're all here to see and do. We've got a huge ass trophy right in front of us here and everybody's eagerly anticipating a hot dog salad or something that's coming out later on. That's going to be good. And uh, we've got some activity in Steam Chat. Let's go to see what the players are saying to each other. So polite, aren't they? Open saying, ready when casters are. As if we're the center point, man. But nope, they are the main men in the hot seats today. And it's all to play for. Game of five coming up, boys. Get hyped. Get hyped indeed. They're loading in as we speak. We have to be hot. We have to be ready to get into this. And Ed, I want some early predictions. I want some early predictions from chat. Oof. If you think Love Nest is going to win this best of five series and become a three-time mega champion, say some noise right about now. If you think Alpern has the corners to do it, and you think he's going to make the dream happen, <laughs> make some noise. Get up there, Alpern. Possible dream, because he is an underdog. We love, we may love the dynasty of Love Nest, but we also love an underdog story. We've missed the first 30 seconds of the cast because AE's brain was in overdrive. Um, let's, we're loading in right now. We're actually waiting for company heroes to speed up. This is now life or death. Hello there and welcome, and we are truly and fully live. Technical itch aside, we had to make sure we were live in this incredible best of five between Love Nest and Elpern. We've just been talking on stream because we've seen Love Nest has locked in a commander we did not expect. And that is a very ironic statement because everyone should have expected guard motor coordination tactics. Orange Pest was on the veranda and he predicted this. Why did Elpern not veto the most popular commander in competitive co. I think it's his first time big tourney final here with all the people live in Denmark and Twitch chat. It, you know, the pressure's on that. You can forget simple little things like this and uh, yeah, it just must have slipped through the nets. But maybe it's just an ultimate flex in game one. He's like, I'm going to give you the cheesiest, most meta commander and still slap you about with it. So I don't know, pure radiance confidence from Elpern maybe. Sniper's pushing forward. Love Nest has also gone for a sniper build in the early game. Sniper is a unit that's ferried him to many Titanic tournament victories. 
Pioneer has been pushed away in the early going. We've got Loveness text to a flamethrower combat engineer. Sniper has been flanked by a grenadier here. He's been focus fired. He's running through a hail of bullets. They're trying to block him. Maybe they should have stood still. We'll never know now. Will the sniper survive? Can he make it back to base? Will Alpern have a fantastic start to this game? No, and now he's been burnt down in flames. Oh dear. Had a good old roasting from the those combat engineers from behind. I think that was... Conscripts could go down though, Ed. He's focusing them as well. They're fine. Oh. Safe. But yeah, just a lot of good pressure there from the flamethrower. That made the Grenadier squad have to retreat back earlier than than uh, Elpen would have hoped. But nice flank and shank there in the early exchanges here, Matt. It is indeed. Elpern's on fire so far. He's had a great start to this. Let's check, quickly check out the player cams and see the focus and determination on both players' faces. And um, we see that this sniper control group one on this low health sniper love nest knows he needs to start getting it working. And there it is. <laughs> that can uh, mean a few things more than one. But uh, yep, sniper on low HP without the healing out for quite well maybe a minute or two. It's going to have to treat that thing so delicately. But uh, I think he'll just be happy for, to get that away. It was a nice blend of uh, Elpen moving along with the target as well as uh, some stationary shots at the end uh, from the Grenadiers, but just wasn't enough. Already a few kills though from the Sniper. Yeah, not too bad. Four kills. It nearly died itself. Elpen's had a bit of bad luck so far, but the 2-2-2 will be out soon. The 2 2 surely be key to punishing these plays from Loveness. Let's go mind-watching duty. Let's see what he's... Well, he's had a flame for a combat engine. He's got 49 in the bag, but Elpern can't know that. The Pioneer's pushed away. Grenz looking for some shots. Conscript's low, by the way. He has to be careful there. Meanwhile, LMG Grenadier pops here. We've got more pushing in from the side. That's an MG. We've got combat engineers going for the fuel. Conscript's got pushed away. Sniper has to be really careful there. Yeah, it's been tiptoeing around right on the edge of vision. But here comes the 2-2-2, two -two -two, Matt. Sniper and ev a few other squads. A lot oh. of mass retreating here. Go in, Alpern. If you want to be an Alpern fan, you want the underdog victory. He needs to think he can do this. Do we have... We don't. He doesn't know. We don't know. Yeah. Anti-tank grenades. Instead, it's He's been doing the it, healing. Guys. He doesn't He's have 18 it. aids yet. The impossible dream might be happening. He's going in for the sniper. He's going in for everything. It's still teching as we speak. There's the bar on the HQ. Sniper's going round the side. 2-2-2 two -two -two wants it. Let's see if he can get it. Here comes those 18 aids. Needs to get out of there now. Oh, he's still going for it. Loveness can't survive, surely. No, it's going to be a dead 2-2-2 two -two -two instead. The ultimate debate from Loveness, but uh, got that 18 aid tech just in time. Luckily had enough munitions as well, Matt, for double 18 aids. That was crucial. So uh, first blood there for Loveness, despite Elpen putting on the pressure. To quote Jesse Pinkman in the highest rated TV series of all time, he can't keep getting away with this. But from Loveness' perspective, this is what he wants to do. Everyone here is going to agree with me when I say this. The sniper is not just a sniper. It's a psychological weapon of terror. It really is. It baits you in to do things you wouldn't usually do. And right now, Alpha's done the right thing to rebuild the 2 2 2. But what a position he's in. Yeah, and speaking of things you don't normally do, I've never really seen Alpen much tech sniper himself. So I think Loveness is fairly secured oh, with this spike choice. On the sniper, though. Can he oh, get some Hail Mary oh. shots here? No. Nope. Oh, hot on the heels. Sniper gets home. But uh, yeah, I've never really seen Elpen go for a sniper much himself. So I think solid. Um, Investment here from Loveness. It's already picked up a lot of kills on it. But it does also vet the Grens. If they get a few hits in on that sniper, their veterancy shoots up. So it's a bit of a double edged sword as a mine is just gonna boom two models down. 60 manpower for 30 munitions. The best deal in the Eastern Front at the moment. Sassy Queen A would like a coffee, please. Sorry to say that out loud, but I'd really like some caffeine. Have we still got some coffee in the pot, guys? Can somebody grab me one, please? Thank you very much. All right. Should get you a bell and uh, <laughs> a guy called Basil <laughs> <laughs> to help you out. To be fair, I've been getting people drinks as well. It's not all one way. It's just mostly one way. Here we go. We've got the sniper back out. This thing's up to eight kills. Thank you, Referro, gentleman, and a Viking. He's got the hat and everything. We haven't seen the hat yet. He's got an amazing Sabaton t-shirt and a doppelganger. He had a stunt double for the event. Go look at the uh, photos <laughs> if you don't know what I mean. Anyway, back to we can we can make many jokes, Ed and I. We have to be careful. We have to show discipline. <laughs> right, Pioneer's pushed away, Ed. 
what are you thinking from Alpern's doctrinal choices? What's he going to go? Let's talk through them for the chat. It's got good old German mechanized doctrine with spawning scopes. We've seen that very popular pick. Uh, any sort of spawning scopes in this uh, these GCS finals. And then in the middle, we've got Chad Mobile Defense. I don't know if this one would be picked, but if he does, it'd be hilarious to see a, a Vet3 Puma possibly popping around. And then Blitzkrieg Doctrine, another popular one, especially if you're some sweaty 2v2 player. And uh, tactical movement hasn't been utilized much in these finals. And it can be one hell of an ability just for a few munitions, Matt. All of your squads can sprint. So, uh, yeah, very good doctrines at the disposal of Elpen that made it through the band stage. There are many fans that tune in for Loveness because they love a winner. And they love the guy that kind of perfected the classic tournament gameplay style for Co2 before Isilda even picked up a mouse and keyboard. And there's many people that turn out and chat and they just love seeing the man work. And with a sniper, that is just classic. Somebody's going, who they think this 2 to 2 is going to get some lucky shots. And it doesn't, but the T70 might. So the 2 to 2 backs away. Has Alpern heard something there? Yeah, and there's a lot of... Uh hard units to micro here for Loveness but oh, one of them being the sniper and as soon as you bring out a T70 that's a lot of units to think about Matt and uh, Elpen could use that against him Minesweeper Pioneer out for Elpen we've got Grenadiers with an LMG T70 looking to get some shots possibly on this retreating Gren. yeah you can't let the uh, sniper become like a black hole or void of APM and uh, love Ness, and he's got to keep those other conscripts and supporting units doing their work as he has done in these opening 10 minutes. A hell of VP lead here for Love Ness in the early game, and that's he's sitting pretty. That's exactly where he wants to be all throughout this weekend. He's been there uh, conveying to me just how much he is a VP man. He's a VP man, wow, okay. Here we go, we've got Battle of the Workers, they've both got Minesweepers, are they going to slap each other's in the face? Let's see who wins this one. Doesn't look like the combat engineers want it. To be fair, the Minesweeper could do more damage than these MP40s, it seems. That, it seems that way. But, uh, yeah, nice little engagement there as we see our first big, uh, you know, the caped guards of Gotham City, Matt, coming out to help the Soviet Union. And uh, just, oof, setting up perfectly for that mid-game uh, arm wrestle, let's say of here a code we, 2 game. Here we are as well, the sniper has flare as well, Ed, I expect to see Loveness using that in this game. He often uses the sniper abilities actually. Used to be that he would use the double tap ability to kill the old Soviet two-man teams, or two lady teams, and uh, yeah, he's often using those abilities. Gods have found some shots on the 2-2-2, needs to be a little bit careful, some crazy salvo could have killed that possibly. Yep, Elpen working overtime with his MG42, just bringing it out, even at half models. Snipers probably had some blame to do with that as the Pioneer's getting roasted. That was a they hell are. of a lot of uh, HP that, damage. Though, the the mine super Pioneer fades away and calls it his brothers with a flame. <laughs> like, I'll be back in greater numbers. It's a big uh, popular opener. I haven't seen many sick mergers view no. with the old uh, flamethrowers and conscripts, but it's just... Loveness has been um, front and centre with that unit. I'll Already vet too. I'll tell you why we've not seen sick mergers from Loveness. Because if we check his KD, it's Soviets versus Wehrmacht. This, yeah, we, we... What is that noise you would describe from the left ear channel there? This Probably someone sat on an oven. <laughs> it was, yeah, the sizzling sound. <laughs> and then sound. slowly realising it. <laughs> the sizzling sound. It Basically, people just cringed. And I heard them cringe behind me because that is not a good KD. That is just the sniper. But also, it's Love Ness's play style. He's in a grand final here. He's been here. He knows how to play it. And at this level, Ed, it's not just about the manpower you preserve. It's the engagements you don't even engage in. It's that level. I think what, a, what a, many players, when they're playing Soviets, they just treat their conscripts like hot trash and chuck them in and don't really care about losing many of them. Whereas uh, Loveness comes in from a different thought angle and protects his conscripts with the sniper and it just is made for the, such a good KD ratio and VP control here. There we go. Thanks for the audio feedback, baby. In chat, that's not a euphemism. That's just your name. <laughs> Shake it, baby. Duke Nukem represents as the uh, LMG Grenadiers are just surveying the scenario right now. VP wise, Elpern is down and he has now chosen a Blitzkrieg Doctrine. Notice how I've learned to uh, absolutely be 
classic there. Look, we've got an ambush preparing with the LMG Grenadiers. They want the Snipe to push in. Does Ludther sense a trap? Is he purposely evading this? It looks to me like he is. He senses a trap. He's shooting this if we, way. If we see a preemptive nade over the top, then we know what's up. But here, instead, these guns are going to have to get back. One mine could do them. Oh, the sniper missed its shot. It's got a 50% chance, I believe, on retreat, and it missed it. Is it 50% tightrope? 60%. I was wrong. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. And, and the way Tightrope said that, it was like a disappointed dad. <laughs> no, uh, he was six, it, 50 it's 50% of the time you're right, Matt, so we'll take uh, that. 10% well, tolerance, it's fine. But uh, Elpen, meanwhile, locked in the Blitzkrieg Doctor, Matt, so maybe he did want that old tactical movement surprise, but does have the glorious recon as well as the loitering AT strafe, so could potentially get our first Command P4 as well of the finals. But a very good doctrine nonetheless here, I think. A uh, great pick from Elpen. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. And we, uh, Amelie Fields is a very intriguing map when you get big money games because it really does make it tense and everything matters that little bit more. The conscripts have been suppressed by the machine and Gewehr. 2-2 two to two rears its ugly head to cause some damage. T-70's been very cautious. Two kills only, Ed. Hasn't really needed to Ooh. get many kills as we see a mine go off on the 222. No follow up though. No, but T70, uh, like a little shark in the water, smelt some blood, but yeah, Gwen's are going to be there to help out the day for Elpen. It's just his VPs lead, Matt. Tough stuff here for Elpen to crack this Love Nest nut. It is. Love Nest is playing this like a former champion that wants to reclaim his throne. And Alpern has to throw a spanner in the works. Does anybody here remember Master League Tournament 2, the Commander Terminator? Do they remember what Alpern did to Love Nest in that very tournament? It was double Luke's. It was chaos in the engine. It was crazy and it caught Love Nest off guard. Alpern is playing this like a true competitor, like an Agano, like an Asilda, like an Ashablar kind of feel. He's playing this properly. Maybe he should play it a bit more improperly. <laughs> yeah, you will never expect it. Some shitty play. But we did see Alpern debate um, Orange Pest yesterday with uh, a bit of Brain AFK maneuvers and it worked out for him. So sometimes it does take bit of unusual stuff to open up this uh, pragmatic German bear moth in Love Nest. Double MGs from Alpern, but once against green cover and he's just been annihilated there. Combat engineer suffer the other one. We've got guards flanking, that's what was doing the work. Can he get some big shots on the retreat path here? This will be good for Love Nest. He's missing with his PTRSs comically. They're too big, quite frankly, but there we go. Oh, big him. wipe there. And an MG42 Sprinting. with guard models on it. That's going to be hell to deal with for Elpen. Ah, oh, and Love Nest gets it home. He won't get the MG home, though. No. Good save there from the 2 2 2, which gets fed to in the process. And now we've got Pioneers on the MG42. So. T70 wants a shot and attack ground from max range, but doesn't get any work done. 2 2 2 comes in against the T70. In turn, aren't any mines, but he gets oh, it oh. with a huge shot there. Oh, my. Wumper worth for Elpen there. Great turnaround. And it just made that uh, wipe on the MG. You know, that's what we were saying yesterday. He can turn a mistake, it looks like at first, into an awesome play there. So, uh, huge pickup. But now he's got to convert that into VPs, Matt, because he's bleeding fast. But another thing uh, Orange Pest was saying, obviously Orange Pest having gone through that Titanic best of five that went all the distance against Elpern is, Elpern may not look like traditional and orthodox. His strategies might be, but his tactics aren't. He's a bit kind of unorthodox in the way he applies himself and it does really catch people off guard it certainly works in that scenario yeah, as we're in Denmark he's got like the same Lego set but he just uses it differently man <laughs> sticks up his nose that kind of thing <laughs> elementary school uh, <laughs> style here but here comes a big bad boy I think this needs a nice AE introduction on the New unit for Love Nest. So, this was originally a rolling Cunningham, as made by the British in the First World War, but the, the Russians tried to make one in the Second World War, and they made one that's a bit more uh, triangular. There well, you go. Is that, is that actually, what you wanted, I, I quite like this coat armor. I just think because it's actually been in the flat paint of four armor. Very but yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we went full cringe there. We may have to very, that very. Back. 
Barely. But anyway, but it's like 360. We're back on our feet now. We're good. We're good. It's okay. It didn't happen. Don't talk about it. It's fine. Anyway, snipers up to how many kills? We are on 23 infantry kills and uh, counting. And it's halfway to veteran C3. Oh. Let's get the PTRS back. There was some big penetrations. MG42 crew is so far back now for LPEN. Perhaps that first early wipe of Love Nest D. Oh, he's going it. back in there, and the guards are in position. Alpern, get out of there, son, if you want to be the underdog victor. MG42 from downtown, though, does see with the vision of the 2 to 2 in the pies. Does see that guard squad has to get out. Oh, Just the sniper has been a thorn in Alpern's side. I don't think he saw it being such an early opener with conscripts. Well, I think a lot of players uh, wake up to it over time that if you want to be a big tournament winner, there's no more OP strategy than using a sniper well. It's ferried many a champion to his eventual throne, and we're seeing it here and now. Look at the stats. Uh, he's got a positive KD as Soviets. Yeah, I think that's half the sniper effect, but then also half um, just brilliant early flamethrower play from Love Nest, giving him that platform as Grenz are slugging it out. Look at this retreat can. path, guys. This is going to be an absolute gauntlet. He's got to go past so many units here. Conscripts are going to fire. Okay, the guards are clear. He's going to be okay. My bad. Guards have been cleared by the arrival of the Panzer IV, saving the day yet again. Yep, Dane will be happy in the chat if he's there, but oh, it's gone straight into a snare. And a Ziss, by the way. Here we go, Ziss, and again. Oh, he's backed into a flagpole there. Needs to be careful with this retreat. Can we have an overshot? We have the T-34 coming in as well. Needs to bounce to stay alive, and it doesn't. It's done for. Clinical stuff there from Levness. But like the two Raptor, one-two punch. Got that snare off. Fans appreciate it. That was a great pick up there for him, but Elpen just reeling after this first game. But it's a best of five, Matt. There's, there's still chances and time to come back. But uh, yeah, clinical stuff there from Loveness. How many times have we seen opponent makes a tiny little mistake? Boom, full capitalization on it. No mercy. Indeed. If you ever, if if you're a casual fan and you're tuning in for the first time exclamation mark league you can go and look at all of the tournament history of coming to heroes 1v1 competitive and just see how many times love nest wins tournaments it's pretty scary 2-2 two two looking for the sniper but the t-34 is there to say not today yeah heavily denied and just the area control of love nest has been supreme in this game one as we see the vps tick under 100 for elpern it's going to get drastically desperate times here for the austere player. We see tactical movement used and a double oh, wipe grenade. Oh, he's tactically dying. Not good. Right, 2-2-2 two, two, two going in. Ziss gets a shot. T-34 gets a shot. He pops. Smoke goes for the sniper. He's got sniper blindness. It's a condition. It's not a good one. He's still in there. He's basically having a smoke disco at the moment. Dodged a lot of shots there with the 2-2-2 two, 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 though. I think he's going to get out home alone. If he does, that's Scott Free, and absolutely awesome. He's still there, just about keep going, Elpern. There you go. That was a really impressive escape. I wrote him off, but he went all the way around the outside there. He did what was not expected. Well played. Yeah, I think uh, Loveness could have maybe stood his ground with the Ziz gun a bit longer, but didn't want to risk it, and that's why he's in this final in such a good position of game one. Very risk-averse play, but it works. Certainly did. And uh, here we go back in basically MG firing upon the conscripts. And uh, Ed, how's chat thinking about this? Are we thinking that this is going to be on the Love Nest pain train or does Elpern, is he going to get back into the series, guys? I think they're distracted by a lot of yellow bouncing boost booty emotes usually in chat, but uh, they're having a good time. Modest mates here, Zodiac and uh, all the boys and girls. I think it's um a bit of a, <laughs> I don't know, early funeral for... Um, Elpen in game one, but they'll get a they'll get pumped for game two. For all the Elpen fans, is there's it, still hope. It's an early funeral whilst you're still alive, because that's really impolite by your family. <laughs> well, it's, it's three foot dog at the moment. Oh, so okay, fair not enough. Not quite there. He's not he's not out yet. Right, we've got another T34 coming for Love Nest. Elpen's got one pack. It is, albeit veteran C2. He's got an MG he can repick up, and he's got to plant some talus. Surely, I'm checking for them. Um, no, is the answer to that? I guess. Reconnaissance comes in from Elpern, just having a little look. Grenadier is low yet again. Sniper couldn't finish the job. Tried to, however. 
Yeah, and as the Lord G Daughter says in chat as well, should have countered the sniper with a sniper, but as I said earlier, Nakas Elpen just not very... Two to two's going in for the sniper yet again. Ooh. Has to keep going, but he's been buttoned indeed. And the Ziz finishes oh. off. In fact, the conscript's got a shot in. And that's GG. game one. It's over. <laughs> wow, what a game. What a game. Let's get some uh, fan opinions on that one, Ed. Let's get some fan opinions in here. Anybody, any top players got any... Uh, oh, i got to go help them. you got to go help them? <laughs> Refer anybody? Two, two uh, five minutes, sorry, just best five minutes. Uh, Tightrope, tight you want to give some f um, input? Is everybody shy? Have we done everybody this weekend? Hans, you can if you want. Refer, Refer, yeah, go for it, man. <laughs> so, Refer, you've had some good plays yourself this weekend, but obviously we can't go into them right now. What we can go into is that game one and. Uh, Let's bring up the stats as well and just break it down and see what we think about it. Yeah, so I talked with the uh, Orange Pest about this, and this is this classic loveness, right? Like, he, he knows it's not on a uh, Soviet favorite map, so he goes for his good old sniper first, trying to bleed the, uh, the Grins from early on and bait him into some maybe not so fortunate plays, and it, it paid off. Like, the 2 2 2 dive was not safe, and double 18 8 secured that, and then he had a, a good position from there on. Um, yeah, I think Elprin just got des more desperate and desperate, and he kind of needed a camouflage commander uh, doctrine to maybe counter snipe or kill the the sniper but um, yeah you just saw them Lovness went like like I said before you get that man like an inch and he takes like two uh, like a your mile, whole yeah, yeah he takes a, a mile. mile and uh, he just kept going it was like classic Lovness from whatever 2016 2017 18 it like, was yeah it really was. It just shows like the the techniques. I'm getting been. like Vietnam flashbacks from this <laughs> GCS two. <or>, like <laughs> the sniper. Oh the face man. Face to grey and you're just a dog scaring it. We know the. But memes, that's what we yeah. want to see, right? Like Lovness peak performance, like just outplaying his opponent like, every every turn. I mean, Elpen had some good plays still. He could have gotten back, but it was a, it was a tough one.